come, I'm using King James today. And the same day, when the evening was come, that's evening, he said unto them, Mark 4.35, let us pass over to the other side. Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the wind beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the wind beat into the ship, so that it was now full. So that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, tell us thou not that we perish. Verse 39 is the key verse here too. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Please be still, my God. Please be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Hallelujah. Please be still. Please be still. There was a rumbling. There was a shaking. Trouble just arose out of nowhere. The wind just arose out of nowhere. To tell you that that wind came from the devil. That's the enemy sent that wind. If Jesus had to rebuke it, then you know it was from the devil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Otherwise, he would have said, just let's go. There go, no problem. It will come. Because Peter was a man. Though. He knew the waters very well. And at that day, on that day, they knew that the waters were calm. The waters were supposed to be calm. But because they had to cross over to another side, to do something great, to bring about the stamp of the word of God and the power of God in that vicinity, the devil arose with the wind. Let me tell you, the devil can rise with, in the, with anything. He can rise in every form. He can use anything. He can use the wind. He can use the water. He can use anything. He can use a storm. Hallelujah. I don't know what has just arisen or uh, sorry, uh, what has risen in your life. What he has brought to you that is like he's not given way. But today I tell you, I tell you, peace must be still in the name of Jesus. And you will cross over. Hallelujah. I say you will cross over. Maybe this message is for just one or two people. No problem. So, I like, if you know this message is for you, just listen to me carefully. Sometimes a message comes and some people are like, what's that? It's not for me. Okay. But it's for somebody. Even if it is for one person. Only faith, 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 faith will take it today. Hallelujah. Only faith will draw it today. Hallelujah. Only faith will draw it today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By faith alone, you will draw this out today. Hallelujah. He said, Please be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm declaring your life this morning. Every sudden wind that has risen in form of affliction, sickness, whatever it is, financial wind, financial storm, I declare this morning, Peace. Be still in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, I mean it from the bottom of my heart because I have prayed and I'm standing here by faith. And only with your faith, there are times I tell you I don't need your faith, but only with your faith will you draw out of this one this morning. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I don't know what is shaking around you, I don't know what looks like you will not be able to accomplish in this season, I don't know what the enemy is bombarding your mind with, what is telling you, what is saying to you that you cannot make it, that you will not make it. See how long you have come see how old you are it will not work look at how long look all of those things are the waves and the storms the enemy brings but this morning i have come to tell you and to that situation please be still please be still please be still thinking why would jesus say please be still in such an atmosphere why would he say please be still and i began to think about it why you have to bring heart what they brought was chaos. It was causing chaos on the water. The disciples were shaking. They were afraid. Water was getting into the boat. And that means the boat was going to sink. And Jesus got up because he saw in the realm of the spirit. The chaotic force. The things that were causing this force up on the water. And he said, peace be still. Hallelujah. Sometimes he just did a word. 
Hallelujah. Sometimes you just need a word. Not even too much prayer. A word. A word. Let peace be still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this word is coming to you and me today because I've received mine as the Holy Spirit gave it to me. And I pray concerning every area of my life. I command the peace to be still. And in your lives. And today I'm returning it to you this morning. I say peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. In your family be still. In your household be still. Open your business be still. In your career peace be still. Open your finances peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemy is rumbling about. Whatsoever the enemy is waving about. Whatsoever the enemy is throwing at you. I command peace be still. Peace be still. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Peace be still. Take it in the name of Jesus. In your heart. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Ayanda la bosia. Peace be still. Peace be still. Please be still. Please be still. Please be still. Ah! Please be still. Please be still. I see, I'm hearing my spirit. Someone. Someone is suffering something that he doesn't, but don't know about because the thing is in the atmosphere and the person got touched by it. I command peace to be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. It was not supposed to touch you, but because the atmosphere you are in is being afflicted with it. And that's why you are, you are feeling the, the wind and the storm. I command peace to be still. I separate you from it. I separate you from it. I separate you from that thing. Please be still. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's see Psalm 46. And we begin to pray. Take care. I told you it's a short one. Psalm 46. Glory to Jesus. Because he will dance again. Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 46. Psalm 46. In verse 1 it says... God is our refuge. Verse 1. And strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters therefore roar and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Hallelujah. He says, there's a river. The stream whereof shall make glad a city. Of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's something I wanted to get out of here. Leha Tosha. Leha Tosha. Leha Taya. That place that says, Be still and know that I am God. Where's that verse? Glory to Jesus. Verse 10. Hallelujah. Now I'm, I'm collaborating verse 1 and 2 to verse 10. Now watch this again. Now watch this again so that you can understand it. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the ma just imagine all of these calamities to happen. The earth removed, the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Verse 10. Well, verse 1 and 2 and 10. What did God say? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. Be still. Be still. So now Jesus commanded the storm to stand still. He said the storm to be still. He said the wind be still. He said peace be still. Now he's talking to you and me. It doesn't matter what you face. It doesn't matter what is shaking around you. It doesn't matter what is moving around you. It doesn't matter what is jeering at you. It doesn't matter what is but seemingly, seemingly wooing you. As though you are a loser. He says, be still. And know that I am God. Hallelujah. Be still. How can you know he's God if you're not still? To see his handiwork in the midst of the trouble. In the midst of the chaos. How can you know he's God if you're not still? He says, be still. Be still, my daughter, be still. My son, be still. Be still. See, those scatter went are scattering around you. Are you hearing me? 
Don't scatter when things are scattering around you. Hey, hey, I don't know what to do. Hi, hi, hi. No, no, don't do that. Things are scattering. Don't scatter. Praise the Lord. Don't scatter when things are scattering around you. Be still. Be still. Be still. If you remember this verse 1 and 2, be still. He said, though the mountains move to the sea, though the earth you're standing on the moves, he said, be still and know that I am God. Praise the Lord. You be still. Listen to me. There is nothing that you command that will not hear your voice except you are afraid, except you are shaking. And when they look at you, they know that you are, you are just talking. But when they see that you're talking from the spirit and they know who you are, that you don't just talk rubbish, you talk and you mean what you say. It doesn't matter how it shakes, it will come. Hallelujah. It will come. It will come. Are you hearing me? It will come. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't know. I'm going to tell you stories about my life. I don't know. I'm going to tell you stories about things I've been through. Things I go through. I don't know how to, how to begin to. They are too numerous. Hallelujah. Satan is very angry with me. He's, uh, I, he's our enemy. But there are certain enemies he makes in a different way. I am one of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Be still. That be still is not, oh, I'm just standing still. I'm just standing. No, 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 no. Be calm. Receive calmness in your heart. Receive calmness by the word of God. Receive calmness that God says he will not leave you nor forsake you. That God says if you be still, if you will be still, you will see my deliverance. Hallelujah. Exodus 14, 14. If you will stand still, if you will be still, you will see my deliverance. But if you are shaking, you will see it. Hallelujah. If you are running up and down, you will see it. Because you are looking for a solution by yourself. You are not trusting me. Hallelujah. Your heart must be fixed on the God. That you know he's your deliverer. And you show that you're sure that you're sure God is your deliverer. You don't have anything by the side. You don't have anything by the back. You don't have anything somewhere, start somewhere. It is God and God alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. You say, how long can I stand still? Keep standing. Praise the Lord. The Bible says after you have done all to stand. And to stand therefore. There are three stands in that very verse. One verse has three stands. After all, you have done all stand. Stand. And it says stand there for two or three years. Stand. stand. There's something about standing. On your belief. Something about standing. On your faith. Something about standing. On what you have come to believe. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the stories you hear around. Your case has to be different. Are you hearing me? You've heard... You've had 99 cases. Do you think that your own must fall into the same way? Why do you think that your own case must, must become the 100? Praise the Lord. Why do you think that you, your case must become the 100 one? No. What happens to 99 people? My case is different. Praise the Lord. Oh, how can you escape it? I know I will escape it. Because greater is seed that is in me. I'm not just quoting it. I'm not just quoting it. This, the difference between quoting something and having it inside of you. It's inside of me because I have chewed it. I have chewed it. Like the cord. I brought it out again. I chewed it again. I brought it out again. I chewed it again. Until I was able to swallow it. Once I swallowed it, it became mine. Once I swallowed that word, it became mine. One that will leaves my lips, leaves my tongue, and goes into the inner recesses of my womb, a womb of my spirit, it stays there. Nobody can steal it. The Holy Spirit will bring it out when I need it. The Holy Spirit brings it out when I need it because it's stored up there. Hallelujah. So when you keep quoting God's word, quote it, let it know it, but get into the womb of your spirit. Get into the womb of your spirit. So when you speak it, listen to me, the devil will scan you. He will scan you. It will scan you if that word is inside. If that word is merely in your lips and in your head, that's why we don't get answers. Praise the Lord. He will scan you. Stay on God's word. Stand still and know that I am God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In this season, anything that comes around you, get this word in your spirit and command peace to be still. Command peace to be still. You hear bad news, command peace to be still. 
They say there's no way. Come on, please to be still. Praise the Lord. Please be still. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You, do you know what it means? Esther was just cutting her testimony back by like chopping. A, she was just chopping it like vegetable. You know? There's a way Yoruba people cut vegetable. When I go to the market, I say, Madam, I'm not Yoruba. I'm from Kosiva State. Cut my vegetable. With the cut and small, small, small. Yoruba people go cut and chop, 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 chop. No, no, if a fire won't enter. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do you know what it means? Somebody comes to you and you look at the matter. I said to her, when, when this thing first unveiled, I said to her, we're going to pray. We'll pray. That thing will go. When I go pray, I said, give me time. I told her, I said, give me time. Because me, I'm not a sentimental person. No. I don't pretend no, to have faith. I have faith, I have faith. But I, 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 I listen to the voice of God. Wisdom, the Bible says, is profitable for direction. When you hear wisdom is profitable to direct, it means that it's profitable for direction. Praise the Lord. Do you know when somebody comes to you and tells you, and our stomach is this strong, you touch the stomach, it'll be like a stone there inside. Under here. And one day I was praying, I came to her, I said, come. I beg, we're not uh, doing any you go, we'll do the grigagagwa for hospital. You go come out and there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody who doesn't understand will say, this woman doesn't have faith. Why you no pray made a fiber? Come pray now. This is what is affecting the body of Christ. I want to, I want to, I want to. That's why people can open their mouth. They put bleach, they drink them. They say, you believe the man of God in our faith. You give, open your mouth, carry snake put, you touch them. All these stupid things. Go hospital. You know one way say, I don't like drugs. I don't like drugs. I was telling one of my daughters, my mouth, they will burn me. Drugs came out. No, I came out with drugs. Don't tell me that. When you need to take it, take it and pray. You don't read the things I read. You don't read. You don't see the things I see. And I look at these things, I say, this is just simple ignorance that has killed this person. Simple ignorance. Praise the Lord. Pray. If God said, take, take it, take it. If God said, don't take it, take it. But you must first hear. Before you say, I will not take. Ah, God will heal me, I will not take. But deep inside, that faith is not really like that. And God requires you to take that medicine. To do the work he wants to do in you. So the Lord told me. He said, she has to operate it. Ah. I had to dissect it for like three or four days. How do I tell this young girl, looking at me to pray and fibroid disappear? To go and, to go and pray fibroid. Praise the Lord. But I have to gather wisdom. I told her, this is what the Lord said to me. I'm not ashamed about it. So we're going to do all the prayer that you enter that theater and you will come out. Praise the Lord. And God provided. She had this strong faith. She went to the hospital with nothing. And right to the day of the, the, day to the, day of the operation, all the money she needed came in there. That's what she did. Miss Eva was like, I had to not join her faith. Because I was saying, wait a little bit, wait a little bit. She said, mommy, I'm take, let me take this date. No date will be better. Let me take this date. I trust God will provide. She was operated on Wednesday. She entered the hospital Tuesday. That money came on Tuesday. And part of Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Because you must pay your bills down before they take you to theater. That money, all that money came on that Tuesday. She entered that hospital. And on Wednesday, she was operated on. And the rest started coming Scatterly, scatterly, scatterly until she came on. And the devil tried many tricks. Praise the Lord. When we were upstairs where the theater was, I told them, me, I can't stay here and be looking at that door like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want the imagination to enter my prayer. <laughs> because they're looking at that door, imagination will start coming. Imagination will start coming. I said, no, Michael, this place is hot. I want to go downstairs. So I went downstairs there and sat there. It was kabashing. Oscar, then imagination left me. Because I will not lie to you. Now. I know that they like pretend, say, you know, no. Tell me, give me imagination. Ah, what if they just run out and tell you, say, ah, don't you want it? Ah, who say in the name of Jesus? God forbid. God forbid. So I could not tell myself, go downstairs and do the prayer. Because Satan is working on your imagination right now. Michael was a jelly. 
but he was trying to be very strong. Praise the Lord. Then I called me, came and called me, said, Mommy, come. They, are, they have brought out the fiber. When they, they showed me, ah, I said, You are this demon, now you stay inside this girl, Beleso. Hallelujah. I said, How is she? They said, She's fine, she's fine. I said, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Praise the Lord. Because let me tell you, there are stories. People have gone there and don't come out. People have gone there and don't come out. People have gone there and don't come out. There's a woman that was going to give birth. That, oh, Ike was telling me the story. The two, they said, a young man bring, brought his wife to the hospital. They were in a, in a clinic. You know this clinic, because of money, they would see the, go, they manage, they go do the thing, when he passed them, now last would last. Lucky. I don't do the hospital now. The, around 2 a.m., they brought somebody from Lucky. I don't did the last suit. Then bring a baby. When a job born from Lucky, Mama did there. Then bring the baby. Come last suit. So, and I said, this is the thing that was just doing this to this girl. This girl, is she fine? They say she's fine. I kept asking, has she come out of the theater? Has she come out of the theater? She has to come out first. <laughs> Why they told me she has come out? Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Stupid things happen. Crazy things happen. The devil maneuvers situations. He takes events and uses it to do rubbish. Many things happen. So when you are trying to say, God, God said to operate, and you go say, you don't get faith. Why you no pray me? Come out. Oh, no. I won't be that. Me, I did do as God he tell me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She needs to start having children. Hallelujah. I will be inside and go mountain. Go pray. 20 days fasting. 7 days fasting. Da, 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 da. No, at the time, Nami said, I go, sorry. Praise the Lord. So I listened to it. God said, pray for her. If I brought her, I would have done that. He said, she has to take it. Do you know, lo and behold, when I asked her, when we were talking, she told me she was supposed to operate this fibro since she discovered it. How many years ago? 2021, they had told her she has to operate. And she said she was drinking this, drinking this, drinking this, drinking this. You know that fear of operation that we have? So finally again, and I said, when she came here, I said operation, I said, you look, Marina, I don't end. Now me say, I can't run from this operation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Christians need wisdom. Need wisdom. Praise the Lord. We need what? Wisdom. If I tell you people I talk to that are supposed to know certain things and they don't know, it amazes me. It amazes me. I mean abroad, though, from abroad. It will amaze you. I'll be the one to say, okay, get this, get that, get that. When you go to the hospital, tell the doctor to check this. There was a lady for two years. I told her, what your daughter has is, uh, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, whatever they call it. I said they have to remove, uh, what? I don't know. I said they have to remove it. Tell the doctors to check for that, I don't know. It's in America, oh. I said, tell the doctors to check for, I don't know. They were checking for, they were checking for, Where's that thing that my son had, but she doesn't have again? Had. No, I say had. They were saying for asthma. They say it's asthma. They call another name like that. I said, tell two years. Tell them to check for that Adonis. It's what is making her not breathe. They say in the night when she's breathing, they, 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 it's like the wall, the ceiling one to four. A small child about six or seven years. I said, finally, she's someone of courage. When she had the next appointment, she said, doctor, please, can you check for Adonis? Da, da, da. Doctor said, yes, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. They checked. It is. For two years. But I said, I told you, I said, you are stubborn. Oh. Since I told you. Since I told you, check for this thing. He said, ma, you know, this is Ebola. I didn't know how to tell the doctor. I said, you finally told him. And they checked. It is. Now the problem was operation now. Operation, I said, they have to remove it. She was afraid. I said, what are you afraid of? They will remove it and she'll be well. She did like, did like, did like. After three months, they removed it. The girl is sound. Perfect. Praise the Lord. I don't know. But when you say you, you, you are a Christian, you must add wisdom. Wisdom for direction. Wisdom to hear the Holy Spirit say to you, this is this situation. This is this case. Lack of this knowledge is what is causing most problems. And it's like, God is not working. God is working. Oh. God is still speaking. But we don't hear. But we don't hear. Or maybe they say, ah, this thing is like this. No, no, I don't want to do it. In Jesus' name, I don't want to do it. No, 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 no. Think about it. Pray about it. Hear the voice of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at the end of the day, that lady, they took back, and finally in the midnight, they took her. They sent them to carry them to Lassoot. 
I think they, she finally had the child, they operated on her or something, but she died. Because she had struggled for God knows how many days there in that clinic. She became weak or something. Come and see this young man. What do you want to do with picking with that mother? Eh? Praise the Lord. So always surround yourself with somebody who can say, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Be open to receive understanding instruction. Don't wait until the thing now become comma. Before we now start running at a skelter. Praise the Lord. Receive understanding. Praise the Lord. Receive understanding, okay? And the same thing you walk your faith on. Walk your faith, walk your faith, walk your faith. Walk your faith. Don't be a talker, but you talk, 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 talk. But your faith is different. You are not connected. Faith, the words you speak are not connected with your heart. Faith is in the heart. Faith is of the heart. Do you hear me? Faith is of the heart. The word is in your mouth. Even the word is near thee. But you say when you speak it, you know, there's a way he said it about your heart. You know, with your heart, yes, confession is made. Because when that word sinks in your heart, when you confess it out, it will stand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, please be still. 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 I thought you would stand up. Please be still. Sold. Please be still. Please be still. Please be still. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I told you on, on Thursday that the Lord said, when I heard the thing about Thanksgiving, I sent the message. But on my own, I now ask the Lord. The Lord said, pray Thursday. Pray on Sunday before the, the Thanksgiving is done. Praise the Lord. And I want to tell you something. On Sunday, I told you that, I told you on Sunday that I heard that um, there, was, there was what I heard about the spirit of death. You know, that God said we should pray and continue to pray. That spirit of death is very much around. By, by Monday, I was looking into my, to the YouTube. I stumbled into a, I don't know if he's a prophet, but he's not a very known person. So he's not, he's not a known person at all. So I stumbled into it because I saw the title. He's not a very known person, but you just they know him in some area. So I opened. When I opened, the man said that a monumental, the way he explained it says, monumental, ah, like a multitude of spirits of death has been released into the earth right now. That's what he said. That's what he saw. When I said that, I said, wow. Wow, because that's what I told you I heard on Saturday, I told you on Sunday. But the way he says, he says, say multitude of the spirit of death. He said, he said right now, the spirit of death is walking with people. It's around. The spirit of death is with people. There are people walking that look like human beings, but are dead people. Would that scare you? I knew that before. That shouldn't scare you. We are not the only humans living here. Praise the Lord. There are dead people living like human beings on earth. Yeah. They are dead. That, that mystery, I don't know. You hear me? That mystery, I have tried to think about it. I left it for God. I said, God, I don't know this mystery. Only you know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. They said if young people, some people die untimely. People who, do, if people come on earth, we're supposed to live like 80 years and didn't finish that 80 years. They died at 40 years. He said they, they will come back again and live the remaining 40 years. Praise the Lord. They will come back again and leave the remainder. I say, God, I don't understand this mystery. When we get to heaven, we will ask. Praise the Lord. We will ask. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it says the spirit of death, multitude have been released. And they're walking amongst men. And that the children of God should pray and truly cover themselves. Praise the Lord. And I heard recently again, there's another pestilence that they are cooking. I don't know how many of you have heard it. There's another pestilence that, have, that, that is cooking again. In fact, some, a, a Chinese, um, apart from that one I saw me, a Chinese man was explaining, he said this one, people were bleeding from the nose. Eh? There is a bed food, they have modified it. They want to send it again to the world. But that people will be bleeding through the nose and the mouth. And it doesn't waste time to take life. It doesn't waste time at all. The, the world is very wicked. You know, 
they want to reduce, listen to me, the agenda, they want to reduce the number of humans on earth before the population, yes, before the reign of the Antichrist. Yes, and destroy this economy. Yes. They want, so sooner or later, there's going to be another stay. There's not going to be another stay at home. Lockdown again. Sooner or later. We don't know. There's going to be another lockdown. Um, when it comes to the economy, they are working very hard to keep people desperate in the place where when the Antichrist comes, they will accept. Because it will be like answer. To be like we have suffered now. Hey, okay, this man has brought it. Praise the Lord. They want to keep humans in a very desperate place where they will easily reach out and accept the Antichrist. Hallelujah. So we need to be very, very prayerful. Psalm 91, don't let it leave you. Praise the Lord. Don't let Psalm 91 leave you. When we're praying it here as our benevolence, listen, don't take it like it's one thing and be singing it. Pray it and mean it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In your home, pray it. Teach your children to understand it. Uh, uh, what's an Ebuka? What's, an, what's his name? Dominion came for holiday in my in our house. Today I heard that I told my husband, I followed to your house. I said he's a liar. He followed us to the house. We brought him here on Thursday. We carried his load. We just said in case he refused to follow us, so we can just drop his load. <laughs> and through to through he did it. But what am I saying? In the house, how I hear him? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, amen, 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 fire. Amen, 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 fire. He was coming down the staircase, so, and he was doing it. Amen. I say, Father, thank you. This is place of God's glory, mercy, child. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just two years. He was doing that thing. So I heard, I joined him. My husband joined him. I said, wow, this is good. He said, amen, 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 fire. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So please teach your children. Teach your children. And that Psalm 91 should not leave us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, are you ready for this month you're entering? Are you ready? <clears throat> Sit down for a while before we pray. Let me declare what I heard so closely in my heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What May, June, July, August is the next quarter, right? Next quarter, right? May. June, July, August will be. Praise the Lord. What May, June, July, August will be the next quarter we're going to enter in. All right. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? Let's see Genesis. Genesis 22. We do nothing without the word. It's from the word the Lord always speaks to me. Or when he speaks to me, he will not take me to the word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For this is for like, the true child of God. Who will trust God in this season? Are you hearing me? This is for the true child of God. Whose dependence is upon the Lord for this next quarter we are entering. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to pray to ask for anything. I didn't ask for anything. I wasn't praying for what the next quarter will be or next month will be. This just came to me like because I told myself I was not going to pray and ask. I'll just, just come. we do the normal thing. And we see how the month goes and be praying. But the Holy Spirit brought this into my heart so clearly. It was so clear. Praise the Lord. Okay. So I read um, Genesis 22, verse, verse 14. Should I start from verse 14? Holy Spirit. Okay. I want it because I want to bring clearance. This was when Abraham went to the top of the mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It was when Abraham went to the top of the mountain to, to sacrifice Isaac. Hallelujah. Okay, I read from verse 13 so you understand the rest. Oh, matala bronzia tatala bronde hisas. Leha tadare son de sin de hasa. Let me read from verse 10. And Abraham stretched out his hand. I'm reading verse 10, right? Of chapter 22. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the Lord, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, 
Now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. What a thanksgiving, what a message for a thanksgiving day too. This is this so rhyme, hallelujah. This so, so rhymes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, behind him a ram. Behind him a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Verse 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Verse 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. It shall provide. Jehovah Jireh is not God has provided. Are you hearing me? You know, we Christians, we like to turn things to suit us. And when you turn the word of God the way it should be, this is a Hebrew word. When you turn it to suit you the way you want it to be, it doesn't work like that. It didn't say, God has provided. He said, God, Jehovah, Jireh, he shall, 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 hear me? Shall provide. Do you know what that means? It means, whatever situation I find myself, whatever time I find myself, whatever possibility I find myself, God, God shall provide. Whatever need I have, in whatever situation, in whatever impossible situation I am in, God shall provide. It then means, I may not have money stacked up. I don't have money stacked up somewhere. I don't have money arranged for a situation that suddenly arises. I don't have money planned for a case that has just come up against me right now. I don't have money planned for this sickness that will go so much money. But I have who? Jehovah Jireh. He saw provide. So the Lord said to me, those who will put their trust in me in this coming season, I shall provide for them. Praise the Lord. I shall provide for them. I shall provide for them. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord, the Holy Spirit is making known to us the name Jareh in this season. Hallelujah. He's making known to your family the name Jareh in this season. Praise the Lord. He shall provide. Praise the Lord. This coming quarter, trust the Lord. He shall provide. Hallelujah. So this season we're entering is a season of God shall provide. God is my provider. Jehovah. Praise the Lord. So every time you pray, open your mouth and declare that Jehovah Jehovah has gone already ahead of you. Praise the Lord. When Abraham started that journey from mountain to mountain until the particular mountain, he didn't think any other thing. All he was thinking was what God said. But listen to me. The day of that journey, God set that Haifa on a journey to. Praise the Lord. God did not throw that Haifa from the air. He did not throw it from the sky. The hyper began to start. It must have lost its way. Looking for its way. Looking for its way. But the arm of God was directing that hyper. And at the end of the day, he got stuck in a ticket. Abraham didn't see that. He didn't see it. It was there all along when Abraham arrived there. But Abraham didn't see it. Are you hearing me? He didn't see it. Because he didn't need it yet. Allah because he had no need for it yet. His son was a sacrifice in his hands. But when God said, no, look, then he looked, then he saw. When God told him, you will not kill your son. 
I provided for you a sacrifice. Look. And he looked, he saw it. And he went and took it. Then he needed it. And he saw it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, then God will provide it and it shall be seen. You will see the provision. You will see the provision. I'm not trying to make you happy. If you like, receive. If you like, don't receive. You will see provision. How he will make it, I don't know. But you will see provision. You will see provision. Huh? The Bible says that he died, had given up and didn't know what was going to happen. Her son was going to die. She didn't know all the while there was a book somewhere. But because she, her eyes didn't go there. Until the Bible says that the Lord opened her eyes and she saw the brook. The water. And she took the water and gave her child. Praise the Lord. Ask the Lord to open your eyes that you will see your provision. You will see where he has made provision. You will, see where you, have put, you will see where he has put provision for you. Hallelujah. Because you will see God's provision. You will see God's provision. You will see. So start thinking about my job, a contract. On business. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't square in God. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go about your business. Go about what you're doing. But see, look unto Jehovah Jireh in this season. Look unto Jehovah Jireh in this season. For he will provide. He will provide. He will provide. Many of you will come back with testimonies of how God provided that you didn't know. Hallelujah. Many of you will come back with testimonies of how you put rent without knowing. Glory to Jesus. How you got that thing done without knowing how the money came. But it came to you miraculously. I'm not saying it's going to fly from the air. It's a testimony you will give of how God provided. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. What is the season for you now? My God shall provide. God shall provide. God shall provide. My season of Jehovah Jireh. My season of God shall provide. Praise the Lord. Rise up and give him thanks. Rise up and give him thanks. Rise up and give him thanks. Oh, glory to Jesus. You're going to pray this prayer before we, because this our thanksgiving is mainly for what we have declared. Ah ah. My sombra natai. Li kabara tosis. Mandele le 